Hoffman County Medical Examiner's Office released its findings today on how a Northfield Center family died. All four of them were found inside their home that exploded in January. Kristen Volk has been on this story from the beginning and learned the children in that home were asphyxiated. The medical examiner's report states that one of the parents smothered or strangled the two girls prior to the explosion. The mom died from an overdose of Prozac. All three of them were upstairs when the explosion happened. And now one of these neighbors here is grappling with anger and confusion over this news as he and his son risked their lives to try to save anyone inside here. We were simultaneously kicking his door. As Randy Nikshinsky and his son kicked the front door, this was what was happening right above them. A massive fireball engulfed the second floor of this Northfield Center home. And that fire was shooting out through here and through here. But they ran in anyway. Everything else was just dark. Their search for anyone inside prior to the fire department getting on scene, unsuccessful. And then, once firefighters found their bodies inside, it was the unknown of exactly how these four died until today. It makes me mad that knowing now that we're, it was helpless. We were always wondering were they alive in the fire and then died in the fire and uh, to hear how they died at least we know that you know the fire didn't kill them. For fire district chief Frank Risco the cause of death news brings closure for him. Risco found the mom and two daughters right behind these windows on the first floor. He was underneath that debris as, that we see here and he was back by the door here. Risco found the dad, Jeff Mather, right behind this back door. The medical examiner ruled that he burned himself to death. But for Nikshinsky, the news leaves him confused. And there's a lot of questions that need to be answered here. Questions about the mom's overdose on Prozac and who asphyxiated the kids and how. Their answers we will never know. It's shocking. Earlier this week, I reported about the dispute over who is going to tear this house down. Well, I spoke to Huntington Bank today. The company has the mortgage on this house, and I have an update for you. They tell me that they will be demolishing this place next week. In Northfield Center, I'm Kristen Volk. New technology.